A lot of times what happens is they will develop what is called cranial abscess disease as an after effect of that injury. What happens is that pedicle, that antler base, breaks off, a piece of the skull goes with it, and then in subsequent growing years, that buck might have a non-typical rack. It's seen a lot in places that have high preponderances of mature bucks, places like South Texas where they manage real heavily, places like Midwest in Iowa and Illinois and Wisconsin and even Minnesota and other places where they have older age classes of bucks, lower buck to doe ratios, and a lot of fighting happens during the rut. And you're going to see those types of injuries and subsequent antler growth in those situations.